Hi, this paradigm shift is about the neuroscience behind the critical error reduction techniques. You see, until recently, scientists and psychologists could only speculate as to what parts of the brain were actually being used for specific functions. So now we actually have proof in terms of why we have to train the subconscious mind. One of the reasons is that the conscious mind just isn't quick enough. Unfortunately, training the subconscious mind isn't quick and it doesn't matter how intelligent you are either. But with enough repetitions and enough stories, people will actually start to hear the danger music in their head. You know, like in a movie when the music changes and you know something bad's gonna happen? People will start to hear that danger music in their head whenever they're rushing, they're frustrated, or they're tired. But unfortunately, it's very difficult to self-trigger on complacency. So there are three additional techniques you need to either fight complacency, compensate for complacency, or to prevent complacency from leading to mind not on task. So, would you and your coworkers know just how often complacency is a contributing factor when it comes to preventing serious injuries and fatalities?